Hey there, my name is Nathaniel and I'm a member of the Roots team. Have you ever wondered what Xdebug is and how to use it? Well, I'd like to tell you about a series I'm working on where we dive into just that. But first, what on earth is Xdebug? Isn't it just the pretty printer for PHP errors? Well, thankfully it's more than that, and I'm going to show you the things that you can do with it before we get started. Here we have a vanilla WordPress install using Bedrock, Sage, and Trellis, nothing special. All I've done is change the domain to xdebugtrellis.dev, otherwise it's completely untouched. So what I'm going to do now is reload the page, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we've been brought into PHP Storm, and now what we're going to do is live debug this request. What's cool about this is that it gives us a lot of options. We can see things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to see, because all of the variables of the request have been populated and we're able to see them. You want to know how? Down here. Xdebug is communicating with PHP Storm, letting PHP Storm look into all of the variables that are currently inside of the request and what their values are. Now, this is really cool because we can see here we have a post variable. Well, this post variable is the post that is currently loaded in the loop. We can see its ID, the author of the post, the date, the content, everything. We can go down here to WP Query, see all of the query vars that were used for the for the request, and these are all defaulted to basically nothing because that's how WP Query works. Uh, we can see taxonomy queries and meta queries, the actual SQL request. That is fantastic because if you have any complex queries that you're trying to debug, being able to see the actual SQL and run that in a program like SQL Pro or actually on the console, you don't have to go hunting around for the SQL. It's just there immediately available to you. Now what's also cool is this console over here, which basically acts like a command line for PHP. Now if I type in get post ID of one, Boom, it'll load the post that I requested because like I said, it's a console for PHP within the request. Now what's also cool is that because this is within the request, you have access to all of the variables that have been loaded. You have access to the entire environment here. And this isn't just limited to WordPress commands. I could do array map, I could do uh, echo boogers. Boom, and it'll echo boogers because it's basically a PHP shell. And that is awesome. Hopefully this gives you a much better idea of what Xdebug can do. I've only shown you a few things Xdebug is capable of, and we'll go over it in much greater detail over the course of this series. To stay informed, subscribe to the newsletter, and I'll see you later.